GMA. Um, can you please tell us more about your album? And are we going to uh, hear you singing uh, your songs, uh, your Christmas songs on Friday? Yes. Um, well, Winter in the Air is actually my second Christmas album. I, I just, I love Christmas. So I guess, you know, I guess I'm like a lot of the, the Philippines. I, 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 I listen to Christmas music all year. <laughs> so when I was doing my first Christmas album, I, I thought I have to, even when I was finishing the first one, I said, I know I have to make another one because I can't fit all of my favorite Christmas songs on one album. But I, I thought it would be fun to write my own Christmas songs as well. So I, I have some of a few original Christmas songs as well. And um, I'll be singing all of them out on, on Friday, uh, as well as some of the Christmas classics. Because that's what I love. You know, even if people don't listen to David Archuleta or an artist, it's top, when they when I have you have a Christmas album and you you sing these traditional Christmas songs, it's songs everyone knows and loves and they can sing along to. So that's what I love about Christmas. It's like you don't have you don't have to like even the artist's songs to, to like the, the Christmas songs that they're singing. You know what I mean? I <laughs> what's your favorite Christmas song? Sorry? What's your, what's your favorite? My favorite? Uh, I would have to say Oh Holy Night is my favorite. Yeah. I'd like to ask Mikey and Jamie Day, uh, can you please tell us about your participation in uh, the concert? Uh, you're a bunny news. <laughs> well, um, uh, we actually, uh, this year has been a very fruitful year for the OPM here in the Philippines. And uh, this year, uh, we actually um, released a new single under Warner Music Philippines. And uh, um, we are going to uh, sing our single uh, in Kia Theater. And uh, just a trivia. Um, uh, last year we created a bucket list, and one of one one of the lists is to perform in Kia Theater. So it's just it's the new frontier theater, and uh, we are so lucky that we got invited in this um, awesome event. And yeah, this Friday we're gonna scratch the list, and <laughs> and we yes we're gonna, we're also going to perform a Christmas song, and uh, hopefully we. Um, we are going to uh, have a collaboration song with David as well, so yeah, you guys should uh, check it out. Sorry, ano po yung question? <laughs> Your participation in the past. Oh, my participation. Okay, so actually I already met it. <laughs> so, um, I'm from DMA Records also, so um, it's a really um, great opportunity for me to represent uh, GMA Records as well. And um, same as JDK, I'll be singing a couple of original songs and also some Christmas songs for you guys, of course. And um, yeah, that's. I'll, I'm also looking forward to singing with David, so I hope that pushes pushes through the cover. So yeah. Will there be a duet? Can we be expecting a duet, like with David or with JDK? I think all of us are gonna have. A, I don't know if we still call it a duet, but all of us are gonna <laughs> sing. That's nice. Now we have another question. Hi David, I'm MJ from TV5. Hello. Yes, David, we've seen a lot of you already, but will we see more of you after this game? Or do you even consider like staying here part time in the Philippines since your fans here love you so much? Um, I, I'm, I'm sure I'll come back. You know, because this this time it's more focused on um, on um, Mabuhay Deseret and the Benefit concert. So it's. It's not so much about promoting my own music as much. I guess you know I am doing that, but it's more for the benefit concert. So I'd like, I'd love to come back and focus more on on uh, the fans and just more, I guess, myself <laughs> next time and on on them. What's your 2019 looking like? Right. What are you gonna do? Do you have major concerts, etc.? Um. Well. 2019, I, I will have some shows coming up in the U.S. 
I, we've been talking about making a, a visit back to the Philippines again because this trip, this trip is very short, so there's only time for the one concert. And um, I, I haven't been able to go to any other parts of the Philippines other than here in Manila area. And so I would like to go actually and visit other parts of the Philippines if possible. And so that's something I'm looking into. Because I get a lot of messages. I guess, I don't know. I mean, and suggestions. Where yeah. to go? What to Saying, do? oh, we wish we could come there. I, we wish we could get a ticket and fly there. But um, I would like to go. I would love to visit other parts of the Philippines just to see other parts. But also to see the fans, most of all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, MJ Marfori from TV5 and Larson Yacht from GMA7. Any more questions? I see Jeffrey. Oh, see? I told you Filipinos are really shy. You just need someone to break the ice. And now it's like, who wants to go next? Okay. <laughs> All right. Pasko na sinta ko. Pasko na sinta ko. Okay. Yes. Uh, Michael will be teaching me how to order it. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you so much, Christine. You know what? He had an album, all OPM, right? And your favorite uh, OPM song from that album, of course, you love Filipino songs. But what was that? What was that favorite you mentioned earlier in the morning show? Forevermore? I love Forevermore. Forevermore, yeah, Forevermore. All right, we have another question from? So here's a few questions. Uh, first question, David, is what were your first thoughts on being offered to do this event? What is uh, what were your first thoughts upon being offered to do this event? So when you when you got offered to do this, what was uh, on your mind? Um, I was I was very excited to do it. I, I was really looking forward to it. Um, I think, as they mentioned, um, when a lot of times people can judge someone by the way they look, and if someone has something like a, a club foot, a club palette, club foot, um, other conditions like that, that I it can isolate people. People can be made fun of. People may not want to be near them. So I, I thought it was really great to also bring awareness because there are a lot of people here in the country who, who have those kinds of problems. And I, I just wanted to show some love. And um, it, it was, the foundation was started by um, members from my church, which um, there was that connection as well. And um, I know the work ethic behind members in my church. And I know the values that they, they go about, everything that they do in serving others. So I was very much like, okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and um, so we, we, we worked together to decide to do a, a Christmas benefit concert. Um, because I love Christmas as well. So um, yeah, it, it, it worked out. Uh, and I'm, I'm very, very excited for Friday. All right, thank you. Another question. Uh, what's your family holiday tradition in the U.S. and how do you make the season special in the Philippines? How do you usually celebrate holiday season, uh, of course, in the U.S. with your family, and how do you make it really special? Uh, well, something that we do in my family um, is we Christmas carol. We go caroling and we go visit the neighbors. Ever since I was little, when I was four or five, I would wear the Santa hats with my cousins and my siblings, and we go to the doors, usually singing Feliz Navidad, because my, we were in Miami, Florida, which is a lot of Hispanics, but um, as we got older, then my mom taught us three-part harmonies, and we'd go and sing those, and now we do it 
now, even today, I'm with my siblings. We'll go and visit some of our old neighbors and Christmas carols. <laughs> so that's that's one of the things I love. Uh, I have one more. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the last question is: If you were made to do a Christmas song on Idol, what song do you think would you have picked? On, on Idol? Idol, yeah. On Christmas Song? Uh, I, I guess I would have, I'd probably do my favorite one, Oh Holy Night. I mean, it's just, it's so powerful. I mean, it's such a good song. All right, thank you, David. Thank, thank you so you. much, sir. Thank you. Thank you also, David, for answering those questions. Actually, I wanted to ask you, you'll be spending uh, the holidays in the U.S., right? Can we, can we expect you to spend holidays here in the Philippines? Uh, <laughs> maybe sometime. <laughs> Yeah. We have another question from? Uh, hi, man. Hi, David. My name is Ben Nikua. I am a content creator, Filipino YouTuber. Um, my question is a little bit personal. I used to see a lot of your vlogs on YouTube, and I kind of noticed that you're not doing it anymore. So do you have any plans to like expand your social media presence to you know, kind of use your channel to promote your focus needs for touch? I guess I'll have to get some tips from you if you're a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I focus more on um, professional videos for my YouTube. So I've done three videos for this Christmas album, which um, one every week this month. But as far as the vlogs, I just got so worn out from them. Because I'd be like, oh, I'm going to redo it. I kept messing up. And then I'd be like four minutes into it, and I didn't know how to edit. I'm so not tech savvy, so I just got tired of it. It would take me like an hour and a half just to upload like a two minute, four minute video. So I got, I just got tired. Now I, that's why I go to Instagram because that way, even if I mess up, oh, it's live anyway, so I can't do anything about it. Or it's, oh, it's 10 seconds long. So it's just easier that way. Or a minute. But I don't know, I, I guess I should, huh, on YouTube. Maybe from time to time. Time to time, yeah. Thank you. Any tips? <laughs> Fellow uh, YouTuber. I don't know, just maybe updates to connect more with your fans. You don't have to like uh, overthink what the button you're gonna be. Like, uh, the constant updates. Yeah, yeah. The usual. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Thank, thanks for your question. We have thank a question you, over here. Hi, I'm uh, Jeffrey Dago from BBS Even Lifestyle. And I'm a big fan ever since I've seen you in my <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anyway, um, of course everybody knows you as a band here and uh, the, types, the types of songs that you sing and you, you, you just said that you love Christmas songs. Well, um, we're just uh, curious, uh, I don't know, your fans probably know this, but who are the other artists that you listen to? And um, like for 2018, what are your favorite songs? Well, I love... <laughs> My road manager is laughing. I, I listen, you know, something that changed, I guess, from my mission I now, from serving my mission, I listen to a lot of Christian music. I love Hill's song. So something I've been listening a lot to is a song called What a Beautiful Name. I love it. Brooke Frazier's, I, well, I guess she got married, but it's, it's such a powerful song. I love it. Um, another, probably another artist I love, I don't, I never travel hours, I never travel to another city to see artists, I just never, even though I'm in the music business, I don't travel to see others, except for this year. I went to see an artist named Jonathan McReynolds, and I don't, I don't think he's known here, it's more in the U.S., he's so good, he's, you know, oh you've got to, Jonathan McReynolds, Philippines, listen to Jonathan McReynolds, he's got an amazing voice. He, he inspired me to, with my singing again. So speaking of soulful music, Jonathan McReynolds inspired me to push my boundaries with my music style and with runs and riffs and um, with message. He's very message-based with uh, like comparing my to others. He has a song called Comparison Kills that I really love. And then another song called Cycles about um, getting out of the bad cycles that we get into in life, bad habits, or feeling down, learning how to push forward. So I, I think we need more motivating music that's good. Um, and so 
he he's a good role model for, for me because I want to be I want to make good music that people want to listen to, but I want it when people listen to it that it motivates them, that it inspires them to be better and to keep going forward. So um, those are some. I, I can't remember. Do you have any um, like uh, more offbeat um, like artists that um, your fans would be shocked that you listen to? <laughs> So something that's not uh, ballads or soul or maybe something, you know, like hip-hop or hip hop or dance <laughs> or something. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Carrie, what do I dance to when I'm like... Blues. <laughs> if I have my phone, I don't know. I guess maybe that's what's shocking. I don't listen to a lot of mainstream music. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, he, I, they're older, but I really like Nico and Vince. Um, they, they have that song, Am I Wrong? But the rest of their album is really good, too. I don't, do you have any suggestions of any, what's some good new music now that I should, I could listen to? Uh, like Post Malone? Post Malone. Yeah. Oh, I have heard, I have heard this, yeah. a couple of his songs. I, I've been writing new music. Miguel. I've been, Miguel? Miguel. Yes, I've heard of Miguel too. I'm writing some new music for 2019 pop music, and I I, I tried to channel some post Malone. Oh really? Yeah. So which of his songs? Like maybe Psycho. Or... Um, no, it wasn't that one. <laughs> what, are, what are the names? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Psycho's the only one that comes to mind right now. Okay. But anyway, so uh, last question. Okay. Um, since you're, you're um, thinking of uh, creating new music for 2019, right? Are you gonna? Is it gonna be like? Um, are you open to doing a uh, like a Christian album, like Tori Kelly's? Have you heard her latest album, her? Tor Tori Kelly? Oh, Tori Kelly. Yeah. Oh Ooh. man, Tori is so good. She has, she, she has a new uh, Christian album. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's really awesome. So I'm really hoping you can make. Well, like that. Just a suggestion. I, yeah. I'd, love to, I'd love to. You know, I I love Christian music. I'm a Christian, but I I just haven't felt it was time to do a Christian album yet. Though it's something I'd love to do. I guess I'm still trying to. I'm still making trying to create pop music as well. I guess I'm, I'm not. I need I need to listen to more of the mainstream stuff to do that, right? But um, yes. A Christian album. I love Tori Kelly. We were actually, um, when I was 12 and she was 10, we were on a show together called Star Series. So it was, and she was singing amazing then. She sang a Christian song on this, that show. And it should blow your mind. If you look, Tori Kelly singing Blessed, it'll come up on YouTube. Yeah. And there she, she had just turned 10. So, and, and she's singing as amazing as she does now. I don't know how she does it. But you were with age 12? I was 12. Yeah. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah. Thank you so much. One more.